drop, pin and drop. Was no fighting in Victoria 5. Victoria 5 was just, um, I think it was pretty much the eye opener, the beginning of knowing what was happening when it, when it came to um, the, the position of everybody, everybody's position, you know, with the music. That was like the, 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 the start. Because I know that um I think I think that night um Pun was in the studio, and he and he and he was told not to be not to do the show because he was in the studio if I if I remember right. So that's why he didn't show up. He didn't come through, and it was just a bunch of shit. Me, I'm always I was always and Cuban could tell you this. I was always on my own shit. You know what I'm saying? That when we started doing the whole thing, and Cuban was like, "Yo, he wants to put Pun on first, and then he could bring the crew on after that." Pun, yo, Cuban could tell you. I told that nigga right there in front of the Little Vills, I'm going this way, nigga, because I already know what's going to happen. And it happened. So how did you know? Years Because I grew up with Joe. Come on, dude. I've had my whole teenage life. We, we from the block. Joe's about his bag. You feel what I'm saying? Joe's about his bag. You think that he felt like he couldn't see a bag with Cuban and Sace and like, I don't, I don't know, because I wasn't there on that part. I wasn't there on that part. You know what I'm saying? What do, you mean, that, what do you mean that I'm going this way because I know what's going to happen? What do you mean by that exactly? That I know he wasn't going to fuck with niggas like that. I know that he was going to flip. Because Joe, like I told you, Joe's, Joe, Joe's, Joe's a real dude. But at the same time, he's, he's about his bag, his business. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I was like... You know what I mean? And plus, I know Joe. I know Joe didn't didn't like me or whatever through the music part or wanted me to be involved with none of that shit. Same thing he was with Cuban and all of them because he wanted pun. If it, if it wasn't for pun, there wouldn't have been a Cuban. There wouldn't have been a Sace. There wouldn't have been nobody. None of the artists. There wouldn't have been none of them. Pun is the one that fought for everybody. Pun is the one that, that was like, "Yo, no, this is what I want. This is how it's gonna go. Whatever. This and that and that and that." You know what I'm saying? And I know this because I was there in that part. You know what I'm saying? After the fact, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? When they was doing that thing, that's when I went about, first First of all, I had to fucking run. I had to run to fucking Florida and hide for a minute because I, they were on my ass. You okay, know what I'm yeah. saying? Before, before we get to that part, though, do you know if there was a conversation that Joe and Pun had when he was saying, like, I just want you? And then Pun fought back and said, no, you got to take my crew, too. Yeah, 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 that happened. That definitely happened. He said it. That's when I, that's when I, you know, and, and then I had the conversation with, with, with Cuban. The Cuban was like, yo, you just got to chill, nigga, chill. We're going to fucking, he just wants pun right now. He's going to put pun on. And then when he puts pun on, then pun is going to do what put all of us on and, and the whole full of clip shit. Because remember, it was pun, it, it wasn't the Terror Squad thing. It was full of clips. Right. It was full of clips. He was supposed to put on full of clips, the full of clips crew, us. We were supposed to be up on that like that. You know what I mean? Me, I was just like, I, I wasn't wasn't about it. I wasn't about it. Plus, I was still on some Robin shit, man. I was still doing my thing, and I just didn't want to do that. And then, I, and then I had I had a couple of things that was happening behind the scenes that I knew I was going to have to go on the run for a minute. And then it happened. I had to bounce, I had to bounce, and I took my shot too. And then that's how I ended up in Florida. You know what I mean? Because my son, you know, my son's mother um, was pregnant. And that, I took my chance. I was like, shit, that, it just makes sense. I got to get the fuck out of here. I got to get out of New York. I wouldn't have been able to move anyway with music or anything like that for, you know, for what I was in trouble with. <clears throat> so, I, you know, it was it, it is what it is. But the conversation happened with, with, with Punt. It happened because I spoke to Cuban after that. Cuban was telling me, yo, you know, this is going on. And, um, you know, once Punk gets on, the whole crew gets on right after that and blah, blah, blah. We'll let him do his thing. We're just going to rock with him. We'll let him... And that, that happened. That conversation happened. Did uh, did your perception of Joe change after that? After you heard that that's what was being said? No. No. Because, I listen, you got to understand something. I'm the nigga that came up with Joe. Nobody came up with Joe. None of them. Pun, nobody. I'm the one that made the introduction for Pun. I'm the one that bring him to the block. I'm the one that, int- that had the introduction with him and everybody in the block that hung out with him after that. Because after I bring him to the block, that's how Full Eclipse became very popular. The whole clique were us four and then um, Little Heck helping us and running with us and, and putting us out there with the music and putting us together with B and getting the money and, you know, we're hooking us up. You know what I'm saying? But I'm the one that made the introduction with, with, uh, with when it came to 
um, Chris with Punk coming to the block and people knowing who he was because nobody in the block knew who he was. Nobody even knew he was a fucking rapper. Everybody just knew this was a big motherfucker that used to play basketball like a fucking skinny man. Like he was nice playing basketball too. But nobody knew who he was or nothing like that. Same thing with um, same thing with uh, with Phil. Same thing with Cuban. Everybody knew Sace because Sace was already in that block playing softball for many, many years. So we all knew who Sace was. So I'm the one that bring Cuban and and um, Punt to the block, and that's how we all started hanging out. So let's talk about the official introduction between Pun and Joe. Um, because it seems like there's like like you said there was like some. Uh, controversy over that with joe's story saying that oh you know he- joe met him in the block joe met him in the block because pun was that dude. pun used to always have a pack of fuck on sick of newports rolled up on his sleeve all the time and pun used to always sit down because remember pun was a big guy so pun used to always be sitting down on crates and it was funny because we used to all fucking chip in right to buy a fucking hero just a, a, a regular hero from the bodega so we could eat Think we had no money like that this time we had no paper so you know, uh, wait, but didn't Pun yeah. have money at this point? Because he had won his like Pun already. Pun, Pun had a lawsuit that right. he had got, but he, that money was gone already. That money was pretty gone. He was getting, I think, he was getting like checks every now and then from his lawyer and stuff like that. But at the time when we were rocking, nigga, no, we we were broke. We were robbing motherfuckers for food, Kentucky Fried Chicken and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. <laughs> Who's trying to eat? <laughs> Fuck that. We didn't have no money, dude. We used to go to fucking Southern um, to Hunts Point and sell fucking fake crack <laughs> to people. Put rocks. And when they come back, yo, this is fake. We lay them out. Break out and go eat. Real talk, real stories. What we used to do this so we could eat. But I remember that day in the block. Um, 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 Cuban was the one that was pushing. He was like, yo, spit, spit, spit. He was telling uh, Pun to spit. He was like, yo, spit, spit, nigga. So Cuban was the one that was making that made pun like spit that verse, though, you know, the whole shit as a him jumping in the car right then and there and then leaving in the studio. And I remember when they did this fucking animated thing with all of us staring at the car, leaving in the middle of the street. I was looking at that shit. I was laughing my ass off. I was like, what the fuck was I in the middle of the street looking at a car speed away, bro? That shit never happened. It didn't happen like that. I mean, shortly after that, don't get it twisted. Yeah, he took him to the studio, and and um, you know, and it was it was definitely definitely the biggest business decision that that Joe's ever made in his life was doing that for Pun. You know, what I'm saying he's the one that yes, he the one that put Pun on. You know, what I'm saying he's the one that that did all of that. Um, he did. You can't take that from him. Um, what happened after that? I can't. I can't say nothing because I wasn't there. You feel what I'm saying? I wasn't there. I just know what certain people went through because I was there for them because I still had relationships with them. You feel what I'm saying? So I can talk about that. But as in what Joe did and this and that, I I don't know because I wasn't there. But I just, I know the facts that's come out after the fact, the facts, you know, that Liza's came out with facts. 